In this video, I'm going to show you how to define a grid using the FR unit. The FR unit is a new unit created for CSS grid layout. With it, you can create flexible grids without needing to calculate percentages, because what this unit does is it represents a fraction of the available space in the grid container. I've got a grid here, and it's defined using pixels. You can see we've got three tracks here, all of 200 pixels. And of course that means that the grid isn't flexible. It doesn't respond to the size of the viewport or the container that it's in. It would be nice if we could create a grid with tracks that grow and flex with the available space. So let's do that with the FR unit. So I change my 200 pixels to 1FR, 1FR, 1FR. And I now have a three column grid, but the columns are flexible and they're equal sized. And grids also accounting for this fixed gap here. So when it's working out the space in the container, it's first taking away the fact that we need to have this gap and then it assigns the rest of the space across the tracks. So 1FR means one fraction unit of the available space. The available space is divided into three and shared out equally. But we can change this fraction value. We could change this first track to two. So now our space is divided into four. Two parts of the available space are given to this first track and one part each to these. Now the nice thing about these fraction units is that because they deal with available space left over, you can mix absolute size tracks and fraction unit size tracks, and it will just cope with that. So this final track, let's change this one to 300 pixels. So what happens now? This track is going to stay 300 pixels. You can see as we grow and shrink, it stays the same size. The rest of the space, the remaining space in the container, accounting for the gutter tracks. That's taken, it's divided into three, because we've got a total of three units. And two parts are given to this track, and one to this track. So this is really useful. This helps us to define grids that might need to contain some fixed size item, but then also share the rest of the space in proportion.